Okay, this is Billy Brown. Watch my reaction to the Scottish Cup draw only on Hibernian TV. Firstly, Billy, can we just get your general reaction to the news that we've been drawn to face Cowan Beath away in the fourth round of the Scottish Cup? Your thoughts on that, please? Well, that's a difficult draw, you know, going away from home. Uh, you know, it's a difficult place to go, Cowan Beath. I've been there plenty of times in my life. Uh, and there's no doubt about it, uh, we'll go across there and get a very hard game. But it's a game I'm well capable of winning, you know, and I hope by that stage that you know, we've we'll got more victories behind us and we'll go across there with a bit of confidence. But, uh, you know, it's, it's funny how these things are thrown up because uh, the managers, you know, played for, for Jim and I when we won the Scottish Cup, uh, we Colin, okay, and uh, Lee Makel's the assistant there. So. Uh, yeah, they're two good pros and uh, it'll make life difficult. Just looking then, since the full time whistle against Kilmarnock, what exactly have you been focusing on down here at East Mains in terms of preparing the squad for St Johnston? Well, I thought on Saturday, you know, the, to the first half, it, without doubt, the team was poor within the passable and that. Uh, but we looked really, really nervous, you know, and uh, it wasn't the time for, for, for going berserk and you know just try to give the team a wee bit of confidence and, and that's what I've been trying to do the last couple of days. Uh, you know, get them to calm down a wee bit and you know, just get to relax a wee bit more and enjoy it. I know when you're at the wrong end of the table, you know, relaxing isn't the easiest thing, but we've got to find a way around that and uh, try and get the uh, boys as confident as I possibly can. As a coach or as a manager, just how difficult is it to get the right blend and right balance within the team? Because obviously it was noticeable that defensively we looked a lot more solid, but in terms of trying to get that spark and that creativity as well, how much of a tightrope is that, Billy? Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't just happen. You know, we've got to, uh, I've got to find out all I need to know about the players and get the right balance in the team. And uh, it, it's not easy, I mean... You know, I thought in the, the, the second half that uh, we looked a bit more comfortable with the system we were playing and obviously a bit more dangerous. And, you know, for all the ball that Kilmarnock had in the, the 90 minutes of the game, which wasn't as much as everybody thought it was when you see the stats, uh, I don't think they created very much at all. So I thought we did OK defensively as a whole and in the second half we at least looked a lot more dangerous. But getting the balance in the football teams, the... the uh, the secret of success and you know just got to find that uh, sooner rather than later. What was your take on the reaction from, from the home crowd towards the fact that you've been placed in temporary charge of the team because you're the first man to have been associated with both teams in the city since Willie Ormond which has gone back quite a long way. Uh, what was your take on that? Yeah, it's strange that Willie Ormond did a lot of the muscle bar as well, the, the same as me you know, and, and you Willie. Uh, yeah, I've got to say that uh, I'm, I'm pretty uh, uh, proud of being associated with both teams, you know, and, and, and to be in charge of Hibs and was a was a great moment for me, you know, uh, and uh, I enjoyed every, every minute of it. Uh, it was strange, it was strange the fact that, uh, you know, I didn't think I would be there, but, uh, you know, being associated with both clubs, I know that, that people there are some people object to it, but uh, I, I think uh, it's something to be proud of. Do you feel that it's a symptom of, of modern football that everything is so short term? As it stands at the moment, obviously you're the caretaker manager, you're preparing the team for St Johnston, but realistically anything could happen between now and when we play in Perth, couldn't it, in terms of the direction of this club or anything like that? How frustrating can that be sometimes in terms of trying to set things up and, and stabilise things? Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, you know, this could be my last interview, for instance, you know. Uh, I, I know that, I know that, I'm no daft. I mean, doing it a long time. And there could be somebody in place here by the end of the week. Uh, so, so I'm well, well aware of that. But, you know, in, in football in general now, uh, there is a lot of short term thinking. Um, you know, and, and, and it's all uh, because of the, 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 the coverage on radio phone-ins, the things that are written into paper, you know, managers and coaches now have become the focus of everybody's attention, where years ago it just used to be the players, you know, and uh, somebody misses a chance for three yards and, and they shout at the manager, 
you know, so it, it, it's a different kind of thinking now, and everything is short term. You know, if you lose three consecutive games now, you, you, it doesn't matter what level you're at, who you're with, you're in trouble.